Welcome back to Fierce Hot Wheels, guys. Today we're featuring something exciting, something new. Well, this uh, 2017 Nissan GTR R35. Well, this car, uh, as you know, Hot Wheels came out in 2017. And up until now, in different color var variations, this is a special one. I'll show you why in a second. So, meanwhile, this is a 2020 edition. Uh, white, metallic white, or pearl white, you can say. Uh, with the red stripe all the way across. Anyways, the designer of this Hot Wheel is Ru Asada. He's pretty cool at it, as you see. Uh, the card number is 137 out of 250 from a Hot Wheel Speed Graphic 10 out of 10, which is. Um, anyways, um. Well, this is a anniversary edition Hot Wheel. Not another, but as you see, this year marks 50 years of pre-production of GTR. And look at this right here. I didn't realize that till I bought, when I bought it. Just researching a little bit. It says 50th anniversary right here. Let's see. Yeah, right here. As you see, they're also gonna have a Super Treasure Hunt. In the blue color. Anyways, um, when I watched a video a long time ago about the real cars, let's go back to the real car uh, industry now. Uh, when designers were doing the uh, the design the real car of the GTR, because the last one stopped, they stopped making in two thousand two, and they want to make a, some kind of instead of a. The slope and sharp uh, low ride, they wanted something bull, something more squared off, yet more aerodynamic instead of like the Ferrari, the Lamborghinis, they're low to the ground, they're uh, more aerodynamic, but they want to do something with something like this, the square type of car, yet the one that goes against all odds, yet be aerodynamic, and that's when they, where they succeeded. Is doing all this designing so it's it is aerodynamic even though it's all flat so anyways um, this car came out they started production in 2007 as a 2009 model so they started in December 2007 as a 2009 model when they started delivering that a little early um, anyways the exterior designer is Hirohisa Ono. The interior is um sorry guys, Ahira Nashimura or something. Then a uh, chief designer is Hiroshi Hosegawa and uh designer director is Shiro Nakamura. Sorry guys for my little mispronunciations if I did it wrong or whatever but so anyways like I said it's a 2 plus 2 uh, car which means 2 in front and 2 little bucket seats or where you can tightly fit 2 people in there maybe like children under the age of 12 and as you see it's a right hand drive not a left hand for a GTR because most of GTRs are made as uh, right-hand drive, especially the old ones. Till 2002, they're all right-hand right drive. So, now, in 2008, uh, the GTR beat Porsche 911. Here's a picture of it. Well, anyways, uh, in uh, 2008, like I said, it beats... Porsche, uh, the fastest car back then in production uh, for the Nürburgring uh, racetrack. Uh, succeeding a lap time of 7.38 seconds. Uh, now the engine for this car, there's only four, four people that are building engine, assembling engine at the plant. And they call them Takumu Craftsmen. And I just looked it up, and here's a picture of these four famous people.
uh, just like in the other special cars, like Rolls Royce started Bentley doing that, and then and not all the other cars, the Corvettes are doing now. Every time they build a engine, they put their plaque, the plaque on the engine with their name on it. Who's the builder who built the engine or assembled it? So you'll see one of those four people that did the assembled engine. So I don't know about now since it's been over 13 years if they have more people or somebody quit somebody. But as a back then, they only had four people who only assembled uh, the engines. So here's a little, like I said, overview of the picture. I mean of the real GTR and the Hot Wheel. And I also have summer uh, Guaxilla edition, which I'll find out. I'm going to have to do a review, quick review on it. I'll post a link once I do that. But meanwhile, guys, stay tuned and have a good one. We'll see when I go put this on a racetrack and see the speed test on it. So I'm sorry, guys. I haven't done this in a while. I have so much other stuff to do. But one of these days, I'll be continuing doing different racetracks, different uh, speed tests on them. So you'll see more videos of the speed test, especially of the Hot Wheels. And just meanwhile, just guess how, how fast they go. If you want to look in my folders, uh, I have different files where it says uh, Hot Wheels speed test. You look for that and see some Hot Wheels that I did speed test on those. But meanwhile, stay tuned and have a good day.